morning and welcome to my kitchen. Where I grew up, many of the old farmers' wives, their virtues were measured on how well they can bake scones. And um, traditionally, it is quite a tricky thing to make a scone because it must not taste like baking powder. It must have enough rise in it and it must be buttery and flaky. That's a good scone. Today, I will show you an easy way to do a delicious scone. It is fantastic to keep in your freezer for when a girlfriend pops up for a cup of tea. And I will show you just how easy it is. There are just a few key points that you must remember when baking a scone and I will take you step by step. What we need is self-raising flour, salt, a little bit of baking powder, eggs, oil and milk and a little bit of egg wash. Right, in a cup and you can use a normal teacup if you want, but I have a proper measuring cup, you break an egg. Then you fill the cup half with milk and fill it up with oil. Right. And this goes into a big mixing bowl and you repeat the process. An egg, half with oil and fill it up with milk. No rubbing of butter, nothing of sorts. Now you whisk this. If you want to make a sweet scone, in here you can put like five or six teaspoons of sugar. But um, I like to keep it neutral because then it can go either way. Okay. With our flour, we add a self-raising flour, but because you want your scone to have a good rise, you're going to add, on 500 grams of flour, you're going to add a teaspoon and a half of baking powder and always a pinch of salt to bring out the flavor. Right, let's give it a good old mix without messing. Right, this goes into your egg and milk mixture. And with a scone recipe, this is one thing that you must remember is never stir it. It's like cutting it in, cutting the liquid into the, the flour. Never over mix a scone mixture. Just bring it together with a knife. This now goes onto a floured board. Now, if you want to make a scones for breakfast or even add cheese to this, but you can keep it in a ring and simply with your knife, just cut it into triangles and you can serve it with your breakfast. But I want to invite a friend for a cup of tea. So I'm going to make proper scones. Press it out till about two to three centimeters. And then just flour your, your cutter and cut your scones. Uh, another key thing that you must remember when you bake scones is when you put your scones onto a baking sheet, they must lie neatly tucked in together because you want the scones to rise up and not go flat in your pan. So that's quite important to remember. These scones are also delicious to put on top of your favorite stew. If you make a chicken stew or you make a beef stew, you put these scones onto the stew like 10 minutes before you take it out the oven and it's quite, quite moorish. Right, and last but not least, they get a good brushing with egg wash. There we go, they go into a preheated oven of about 200 to 220 degrees Celsius because you want them to rise quickly and bake as quickly as possible. So in they go. Right, our scones are just about ready. I am going to peep and take them out the oven if they are. 
Yep, they are all deliciously golden brown. There we go. Now you can make these scones as small as you want or as big as you want. Some friendships are fragile and they require a dainty little scone. And some friendships are there for the long haul and they require a nice big scone with a dollop of cream and some jam and I am ready for that. Let's take one of these scones and we just break them open to show you how delicious and flaky they are. There we have it. A delicious scone to have with a good old friend and a cup of tea. I see you in my kitchen, same place, same time next week. Thank you.